greatest common factor and least common multiple. I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand the relation between these two. Find two set of possible numbers whose greatest common factor is 8 and least common multiple is 48. So what, what we are given here is that greatest common factor is 8 and least common multiple is 48. We want two numbers. Now one set of numbers is absolutely clear and that is the numbers are 8 and 48. So these are the numbers. Always whenever you are given least common multiple and greatest common factor then two numbers will be the numbers mentioned here itself. Well, you can check it. If I write factors of 8, what do I get? Factors of 8 are 2 times 2 times 2. As far as factors of 48 is concerned, you know 48 is 6 times 8. So 6 times 8 means 8 will give you these 3 and 6 will give you 2 times 3. So that is how we get factors and from here you can see that LCM will be what and greatest common factor will be what. Let me show you with the help of a Venn diagram to understand it better. So what we have here is two circles representing the factors of our numbers 8 and 48. So let us say this is for 8 and this is for 48. Now in these two circles you'll find that we can place this common group here. So that is 2, 2, 2, right? So 2, 2 and 2, that makes it 8 and this is the greatest common factor between these two numbers. How about the other factors? Well, for 8 we do not have any other factor. All three are included here. But for 48, we have 2 times 3, right? So we can always write 2 times 3 on this side. So 2 times 3. So these are set of factors for 48. And for 8, we have 2 times 2 times 2. And from this set, you can actually find greatest common factor. Common between the two is 2, 2, 2. 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8 and least common multiple is you need to just multiply them what do you get 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 which is 48 right so least common multiple you got by multiplying all these factors that is 2 times 2 times 2 the common ones and those which are not common that is times 2 times 3 so that is how you get your least common multiple. So we got one answer and that is our set of numbers is 8 and 48. How do we get the next set? That is a big question, right? So let's again go back to the Venn diagram and I hope we'll find a solution here, right? So we have some flexibility. Well, the common elements are these three. That means the greatest common factor of 8. Now we have flexibility of these two factors. You have to multiply all these numbers to get least common multiple. So what you can do is that you can place them at different positions. You can place, for example, 2 here and 3 here. In this case, what is LCM? LCM will be equal to or least common multiple will be product of all these which is 2 times that is 8 right 3 2's times 3 which is 48 right that is what we wanted and greatest common factor we have already taken as 2 now you have to figure out what are these numbers the number here should be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 that means 8 times 2 which is 16 
and number on the other side is 8 times 3 which is 24. So the two numbers which we have got are 16 and 24. Do you get it? So that becomes the second set of numbers. So we get our answers. The two set of numbers which will satisfy our condition that is greatest common factor of 8 and least common multiple of 48 are either 8 and 48 or it could be 16 and 24, right? So in 16 and 24 also we have greatest common factor of 8 and lowest common multiple of 48. I hope that is interesting and you appreciate the whole process of finding the numbers given greatest common factor and least common multiple, right? Now here is a question for you. In this question, let me say that greatest common factor, let me change this greatest common factor instead of 8, let me write this as 9 and least common multiple is let us say 90 right now for this condition try to find two possible set of numbers right you know one is 9 and 90 find the other one that is tricky okay i hope you understand and appreciate it thank you and all the best